Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about the ANET ET4X and the firmware update. So, my friends, let's get cracking. So, friends, the first thing I'd like to say is that I have generally, throughout my years of 3D printing, tried to not update the firmware. Uh, I try and learn the printer first and assume that there are things that I need to get better at as I learn each printer uh, before I assume that they sent me something with bad firmware. I just, the risk when you do firmware updating makes me a little nervous. And generally, I found that if I work with the printers and find out what they do well, I can be successful with the way they are sent. That out of the way, I'm going to hit the firmware link that you get when you hit Google, and let's read through what they've got. So, this was on March 8th. It says, how are you doing, guys? ET4 was upgraded again. Uh, yesterday, we pushed the new firmware update 1.15. So, let's check together. Now, in red, it says, caution, format your SD card, or change to a high-quality one before updating. So, your, your card matters. Then number two, it says, we don't support users with the firmware file of the ET4 to flash firmware of ET4 Pro, ET4X, ET5, and any other models of printers. Um, this is on the ANET page. Uh, I don't understand how you can say that uh, sentence. It just doesn't connect for me. Uh, after that, it says, otherwise any damages caused by that shall be undertaken by the users itself without warranty or service support thanks for your understanding i don't understand that that one's tough for me p.s the main marker except for the nameplate attached to the left side of the machines to distinguish between an et4 and an et4 pro is to identify their print head's appearance so when i look at the print head appearance in this picture the pro just has three rings and maybe the cables are connected different up top but it's really hard except for this having two rings and this having one ring um, from that angle I can't see anything else if you guys want to add a description below of what clears that up that would be awesome so here is the link to the firmware and then there's a bunch of instructions about risk and uh, so on and so forth and then if you go down there are a lot of people that comment uh, they've got issues with it so back on May 6th May 6th May 4th uh, stopped the booting section I don't speak these languages so I'm stuck there um, turns off filament uh, so there's a lot of issues so I'm not sure I want to update the firmware I would rather learn how to get the printer to work the way I want before I go doing something that's got a lot of warnings on it uh, and you can see that a lot of people have had troubles as well with that being said though if you follow the google link you get this et4 bin right here and you get the et4 text uh, let's double click and read that quick uh, it is just the crc code to make sure your file came through correctly i would believe even though they don't label it like that so i guess what i'm gonna do is before i actually flash this firmware i'm gonna pop this video up and let you guys comment about what you guys have learned about it maybe with a few of you out there telling me if you were successful and how it worked and what the benefits were i'll actually try and do it to one of my machines so i guess friends if you found the video useful please give it a like if you've got a question comment or suggestion add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.